Yeah, and we have engine jump. start. And lift off. From a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. The White House has revealed the first full color image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA says that the photo is the deepest look into the universe ever recorded, taken from a million miles from Earth. After the investment of 30 years, the sum of a total of $10 billion, and the involvement of thousands of scientists, it's for certain that the James Webb Telescope has made marvelous discoveries. But the more exciting thing is that recently JDOST has discovered a galaxy that defines the law of physics. In the previous video, we talked about the astonishing discoveries Webb Telescope is set to make. The most curiosity-driving thing is always the unknown, and scientists were in the euphoria of curiosity when the James Webb Space Telescope was constructed. It has given humanity a colossal leap that everyone was anticipating after the initial discoveries by the Hubble Space Telescope. With all due respect, Hubble is still the Earth's second most crucial space telescope. However, it had one shortcoming, the design supporting the visible region and ultraviolet radiation. Because of this, we were always unaware of the facts of what happened in the universe earlier, just after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope is the best instrument that can be used for this mission, and Webb Telescope is proving it by the discoveries it is making. In this video, we will talk about the strangest galaxy that has been discovered by humans to date and what is so special about it that it has the potential to break our modern galactic model of physics. So please fasten your seat belts because now we are going deep in the interstellar. The speed of light is a paradoxical thing. At the speed of 186,000 miles per second, light travels in the universe. This speed is so fast that whenever we look at the light, we can only judge its position or momentum correctly. Great Werner Heisenberg gave this famous uncertainty principle in 1928 about the photon. At short distances, we do not feel this uncertainty much, but as the distance of light increases from us, this uncertainty also increases. So when we look at the moon in the night, we are actually looking 1.2 seconds in the past, and when we look at the sun up in the sky, we look 8 minutes past in the time where the sun was present, and because light took 8 minutes to reach on Earth and fall on our eyes. Similarly, when we look at the Carina Nebula, one of the largest star-forming regions, we look at 7,500 years in the past because the light has reached us in the 7,500 years. In other words, the light started traveling from that place when the Mesopotamians started learning how to write and reached in 2022. Now back to our topic, James Webb Space Telescope can look back into the time, courtesy of background radiation, until 200 million years after the Big Bang. This is a significant improvement from the Hubble Space Telescope, which had the maximum efficiency of 500 million years after the Big Bang. With this revolutionary improvement and added benefit to observing in the infrared region, James Webb Space Telescope has made jaw-dropping discoveries about distant and first-born galaxies and one very strange galaxy. But before discussing that galaxy, let's understand what a redshift is and how it is important in knowing what happened just after the Big Bang. A redshift is an increase in the wavelength and, ultimately, a simultaneous decrease in the energy and frequency of the photon. The other way effect of redshift is a blue shift. It is the reverse process, the decrease in the wavelength and at the same time, increase in the values of energy and frequency. The universe started expanding after the Big Bang and light waves have been traveling since then. So the further a galaxy has traveled, the more redshifted it is. In simple words, the older a galaxy is, the higher wavelength it will have and consequently low frequency and energy. So, if a galaxy is more or higher redshifted, it simply means it is very old and started to form after the Big Bang. You might think that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, so how can a galaxy form 25 billion years ago? The short answer to that question is that the universe is an ever-expanding phenomenon and is not static. Consider an electric bulb 13.8 billion years away from you and that light has been traveling in space for 13.8 billion years. 
so you can conclude that light has traveled this particular value of 13.8 billion years, and this must be the distance between you and that electric bowl. Luckily, if it has survived that long time, or what other thing it has formed. This explanation can be correct in a static universe or an ideal system, but not in an ever-expanding universe like ours. The fundamental reason for this is that in the meantime, while the light was traveling, the electric bulb from which the light emitted was continuously drifting away from us. So by the time light has reached us, it is way too farther from us than we think and infer from the travel time of light. These are not ordinary calculations, but if we work them out using Friedman equations while considering all the universe's expansion history, we find that the point from where light has traveled towards us in 13.8 billion years is now actually 46 billion years away from us. Thus, this is the farthest distance we can see in the present day. Coming back to redshifts, before James Webb Space Telescope, the most enormous redshift recorded by the Hubble telescope was Z equals 11.1 for the galaxy GNs 11 measured in 2016. Hubble cannot measure galaxies with more than a redshift of Z equals 12 because of the wavelength limit of the instrument. The era of Z equals 13 remained undiscovered and out of our reach so far. James Webb Space Telescope has given us an unprecedented reach towards these untouched territories. In the first week of its discoveries, astronomers recorded several galaxies that could position themselves within the Z equals 13 and 14. However, recently a team of researchers has baffled everyone by recording a galaxy having redshift Z equals 17. The galaxy has been officially named as CEER 1749. We are looking here at the dawn of time because CER 17 is just 220 years after the Big Bang. This galaxy has also been named Schrodinger Galaxy because it has dramatically bewildered scientists. The name comes after the pioneer scientist Erwin Schrodinger because of his famous thought experiment of half alive, half dead cat before you open the container. Sea Years 1749 is flabbergasting researchers because of its characteristics according to galaxies beyond Z equals 17. But the real conundrum is that it also shows the peculiar features of the galaxies found at C equals 5. The James Webb Space Telescope has finally unlocked the last unexplored era of time and has raised questions that we are not ready to answer yet. However, the curiosity is heavenly high, and it will definitely take humanity to places where we have never been before. This is the end of today's episode. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to leave your feedback and suggestions in the comment section. Also, let us know about the topics you direly want to watch a video on. Our team will take care of your suggestion, and will try to exceed your expectations.